What is even happening? Inspired by Daddy05, we bring you ways to prank your family. Oh my god, mom, we talked about this. I said don't wear anything stupid. What what is this? What are you wearing? What is this? What is this scarf? What? Hi, so uh you want to be in a prank? First off, for this kooky prank, you'll need a pyrocynical t-shirt. Please, actually, buy my, my fucking t-shirts. Do, do, do you know how low ad revenue is? I, I made $40 off the last video. You'll also need a chair to sit them down in. And finally, some high-strength dental floss. You don't want your family member running away and calling the police. Do, do you? Firstly, cover your family member's head and then Sit them down in the chair, and wrap as much dental floss as you can around the chair. You don't want them escaping. And finally, after all that being said and done, you're ready to prank them. Alright, so... How many likes can this video get? A lot. A lot. You, you can't say a lot. You, you gotta say a number. You, you can't say a lot. A, a lot could be anything. That, that could be any value. Fifty. Fifty. You, you mean 50,000, yeah? No, 50. Are, are you serious? You heard it here first, guys. 50,000 likes. Can we hit it? I'm sure we can hit it. This is actually so messed up. How's it going, guys? The, the, the spirit of Casper here. I should... I should probably... should probably turn that down just a bit. So there's been an event going on uh, quite recently with... Daddy05. Daddy05 is a family vlogging channel, or I guess you could say a prank channel. A channel with a father and his family, and they interact in uh, all sorts of mischievous activities. <laughs> what is even happening? Yeah, you obviously did. Yeah. 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 Now the pranks themselves, they are quite far out. This isn't, you know, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, that fucking thing he did with getting the parents to eat the kids' Halloween candy. I was really hungry, and I ate all your candy. Remember that time when Jimmy Kimmel said YouTube Let's Plays were bad and then it backfired and he got Markiplier and a bunch of other Let's Players on? YouTube launched a new video network yesterday where you can watch other people play video games. For real, let the whole network, it's called uh, the We Should All Be Very Ashamed of Ourselves for Failing as Parents channel. <laughs> 12 seconds later. How you doing? Hi. I'm Jimmy. I'm May. Nice That's to meet me you. I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Mark and May. I don't know if you heard, but everybody wants to kill me. Not everyone. Not everyone? No. no I'm pretty sure mostly just people want you to understand. And that's the main point of all Mostly this. Mostly people want me to get cancer and all right, people I like tell that you. To my you. But no, the real problem, quite recently, a video surfaced of the family engaging in a prank with some invisible glue and um, this one went a bit too far hey guys <laughs> so i got a prank for cody i bought this here invisible ink what the fuck did what did you do what the fuck what the hell is that the hell is that cody I know the noises sound quite similar to Max Payne having a hallucination. Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah. Now, I've already done a video on Daddy05 in the past. I just said how it's pretty trash content. It's just them uh, softcore abusing their children. I like the term softcore. Like, he ain't hitting them over the head with a vase, but he's pretty damn close. I shouldn't, uh, that shit's gonna get me sued. And this video blew up. There were so many reporters. <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure there are other examples of Daddy05 videos being just as vulgar and aggressive towards the kids. This one was really cherry picked. But then another video surfaced 
of the kids doing a competition with each other and whoever won smacked the other one in the face. Come on. <coughs> Come on. Give him a little it? tap. <laughs> <laughs> if you hurt her, she's not gonna quit if I get going. And you know you don't hit girls. Yeah, but she's like your sister. She don't count. What the heck? Boys don't hit girls. What? Just give her a little tap. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't say like that. I said give her a little tap. Now, I do have to agree that itself is pretty fucked. You know, you are basically getting the kids to hit each other. The boy is very, very adamant how he doesn't want to take any part in this situation. Go to Ryan. No, 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 no. I'm not hitting Ryan. Why do I have to do the older one? All right, well, come on then. And yet, yeah, you peer pressure him constantly over and over and over and get him to hit the girl. Go to Ryan. No. Yeah. And you know you don't hit girls. Hit her softly, son. Do a tap on the face. Something light-hearted. No, just get the butt of your fucking hunting rifle and smack her in the mouth with it. Here, son, take my take my gun. And then Daddy05 actually released a statement apologizing for their actions. Here is that video. Welcome to my mind. Play that note block nicely. That's not the right video. What the, f what the fuck did that play? Oh. All right, the video got deleted. Okay, losing credibility quite quickly, but okay. And then a couple days later, they released another apology video. Daddy05 founders issue public apology. Hello, Team D05. This is going to be a bit of a different video than we usually do. I'm just saying right now, without knowing the context of this apology, the expressions on these two faces looks uh, it looks quite it looks quite familiar. I can't I can't put my finger on it. I understand how everyone feels. I I acknowledge and and I respect You gonna say sorry? You gonna say sorry? About this are you I gonna you gonna say sorry? We put things on the internet that should not be are, there. Are, are, you, are you gonna say sorry? Uh you, you, you're pussy footing around it, guys. Looking back at the guys and you, you just gotta say you're sorry. One thing I do have to give them credit for. They do seem genuinely disheartened. I wouldn't say sorry, disheartened for the actions they've done. They're not happy that it's created this atmosphere around their kids and how their kids' normalcy has been destroyed. Just to counter that claim that all this hate and this bandwagoning has destroyed your kids' lives, do you really think that putting them on the internet, getting them to hit each other, slamming them around, and the size of your channel don't you think to an extent that would have had some kind of knock-on effect? The problem is, and I've said this before, they have followed the YouTuber apology to a T. And that is, of course, to never apologize. That big bad word called sorry. Never say that. You're not allowed to. If you say you're sorry, that means you're wrong. Therefore, death sentence. Don't have to deal with so much backlash from our bad decisions. And we realize now what kind of a situation we put them in. And we're just really sorry to them. You are never allowed to say that you are sorry directly. You've got to pussyfoot around it and say how you understand where people are coming from. Or you understand people's concerns. I understand how everyone feels. Also, I think there was a part where they called out Philip DeFranco for covering it, but who gives a fuck? YouTube is shutting down my channel and I'm not sure what to do. What's up, you beautiful bastards? My eyes look like the pits of hell. <laughs> now, you've probably got a general gist to what's going on, but there's another layer to this disgustingly greasy, oily cake. And there's no point me covering it. So, of course, I'm going to hand it over to your boy, the 11th wonder of the world with his fucking big ass tongue. I'm Alex. Financial request, I'm not going to talk about it. How is this talking with the video? That's not the right video. Why Why do I? Why the fuck do I have that on my PC? Now, the funny thing is about this channel in question, Daddy05, is that this channel was brought to my attention because some information came to light which totally changes the entirety of the way the channel should be looked at. But I've seen an interview with the real mother 
of the kids. I have someone very special with me too, someone's actually. After this incident broke out on YouTube and on the digital news, because this is freaking everywhere, um, I actually have Emma's and Cody's real mom with me today. Um, I'm the aunt. I'll take over because she's kind of nervous right this minute. Three years ago, we contacted, or she contacted Mike um, to give him a second chance to try to be a dad. 2011. 2011, excuse me. More than three years ago. Um, and because, you know, he was gone for several, several years ever since Cody was one. The stepmother... Heather decided that she was going to forge papers and say that my sister gave up her rights of Cody and was sending him to live there. Now obviously that stuff is a lot more heavy hitting than the stuff I mentioned previously. The stuff with the kids, it's a bit scummy, it's a bit here and there, but that, if that allegation is true, then yeah, they, they shouldn't really even have the fucking kids. I stand by my point that I don't think the apology was well worded. It did come from a good place, but the message was so convoluted that any genuine meaning to it has just been buried. Totally buried under pussyfooting and a bunch of big boy words. They should have just been to the point. They should have said, we're sorry for what we did. We fucked up, we'll do better. But people on YouTube, or not even on YouTube, in the media, they are just, they are, they cannot apologize. They cannot. They, they either do it out of ego, because they're worried that they actually have to admit that they're at fault, or they're too scared, because they're scared that if they apologize, then people are just rushing and fucking blindside them, because, you know, they've let their guard down, they've admitted that they're at fault. It's a pretty confusing topic, to be honest. I really put this video off, because there's just so much to address and so much to talk about. I don't even know what's going to happen to the Daddy05 channel. They need to stop. I think if everything is fine and the dust settles, they need to stop this shit. They need to stop throwing their kids around, getting them to hit each other, soft core abusing these kids. I see the intentions that this channel had and that you wanted to make these kids happy. But at the same time, these videos are monetized. You're gaining money from it. And I think that's one of the main causes you, you kept running this channel. So... I understand the good gesture with wanting to entertain the kids, but you are sacrificing pretty much all their privacy. I just hope that this channel, Daddy05, if you're watching this, you prove YouTube wrong. Because that would be really nice to see, that you do a full 180 on your channel, you involve the kids in a way that isn't aggressive or aggro. I mean, sure, you can have play fights and all that shit, you can be, a, be fucking parents, that's fine. But when it becomes basically physically abusing and shouting at the kids until they cry that that needs to stop if you cut all that out and you're more tame especially with the way youtube is becoming incredibly pc the only videos that are monetized now is mini lads with uh oh look not, another try not to laugh challenge ha ah, kill me kill me oh, my forehead is massive but anyways guys that's Pretty much everything for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a big fat steaming like down below. What do you guys think? You're such a you're such a clever good audience. You know the right answer. I'm just a neutral news source. But on a serious note, I would like to hear your opinion on the Daddy O5 situation because as of late the comment section has been getting better. The comment section was in the middle of a black hole. We're now starting to slowly leave the black hole. So, uh, we can only go up from here. Be sure to subscribe for more Game Ranks Top 10 uh, Misconceptions. <laughs>